Hi Pisces, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning into your what the, do they wish they could have said to you reading. We're going to be looking at what the cards can reveal about your special person and what they wish they could have communicated to you or what they wish they could say to you as well. So this could be an ex, this could be a current lover, this could be someone you're in contact or in no contact with. Um, I want you to meditate and think about this person and having them in your mind hopefully we can see what it is that they wish they could have said to you okay so this can be for pisces sun moon rising and venus please feel free to like this video if you enjoy this type of content um, just so i'm aware and uh, also please feel free to subscribe to the channel to receive updates from youtube when readings for your sign are posted throughout each week um, hopefully you won't be bombarded with those but let's jump into it and have a look and see Pisces. Okay, there's a lot of thinking going on. Okay, this person is going into overdrive thinking a lot. Okay, Pisces, there's someone here who wants to say to you or wanted to say to you that they wish things had changed or they wish things were different. There's something that this person wants to fix or mend or heal. Okay, so this person is undergoing or wishes to undergo some sort of healing um, within themselves or possibly with you. Okay, something has changed or is new in their life and they wish to share that news with you. The star card is here and this can be about expressing something, sharing it, making it known to the world. So that it could also be that someone wants to talk to you about... Um, Anything to do with like social media, social media habits, exposing themselves or exposing you. But most importantly, it could be around fate, destiny and love. Okay, this is inspiration, a very beautiful card. Um, you know, and the fool next to it, the fool is so helpless. He's so naive and he just surrenders to what is. So Pisces, it makes me think that there's someone here who's helplessly fallen very hard for you. Okay, so much so that they've come up as the Nine of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles, okay? So they're a little bit distressed and they want to tell you they've never felt more lonely or they've never felt more hurt, especially about some words that may have been exchanged, some words that have still stuck with them, that still haunt them or plague them, especially during at nighttime. Um, when their head hits the pillow, you come up for them. Um, now, you do have an Aries and Aquarius, so it may be one of these signs that you're dealing with that has come through in the reading a lot of thought and a lot of thinking so I, I sense there's someone here who wants to reach out or, or touch base and say I've been thinking a lot about you or I've been thinking a lot about what you said or I've been thinking about how I expressed what I needed to say here as well um, there could be an apology coming there might be someone here who wants to apologize seek forgiveness from you or get closure from you as well I get the sense I don't get the sense that this person wants to wrap things up entirely. I get that they do want to move away from a toxic phase that you may have experienced and come into something new or at least forgive each other for something. And it appears to be quite major. Okay, it's come up as a major arcana as the star and the four, so I don't think this is a small issue. I don't think this was a small or a minor thing. Um I do think it was uh I do think it was quite large scale, um, to be honest. Um, the Knight of Wands is a very perked up and a very active energy. Um, he's very interested. So there could be someone here who wants to say to you or wanted to say to you they found your profile online or they saw you at a party or they knew of you from a friend of a friend and they're interested but they don't know how to do that yet there's the the, the nine and the seven of pentacles they're very reserved kind of energies um and notice how this person is sort of watching and waiting i get the sense that someone wants to say to you i've been watching you from a distance and i've been waiting to approach you at the right time i've been waiting for you to make that approach i've been waiting for you to forgive me i've been waiting for you to want to try to make things better with me or want to try to make things better um with our connection so 
the words that come to mind for me, I've been waiting for you, I've been waiting for this, um, how long do I have to wait for this? There could be a bit of an expectation, don't forget the Knight of Wands can be impatient. And Pisces, you've come up as the Four of Cups, so you're sort of sitting back and waiting. So maybe this is more so for those that have an online love, a foreign lover, or someone that you've sort of haven't responded to. Or maybe you're waiting for this person to take initiative or this person to write to you first and foremost. So there is a bit of a waiting game happening here. There's about, it's like baiting someone here, um, making them wait somehow. And maybe they feel like you've sort of pushed them away. There may be someone here who feels a bit like a fool, like they're embarrassed about a situation and they want to tell you, they want to offload this just as she does the, the water from the vessels. This is offloading something here. Mm. So yeah, it makes me think that they feel embarrassed or something that you did to them Pisces that caused them humiliation or embarrassment but everyone found out or everyone knew with the star card here this was maybe you exposed something of theirs and they still feel humiliated about it maybe they did something and that they feel foolish for doing so um, vice versa it could be something that you did and to them and they're, they're still like horrified. I mean, they're living through those emotions very much. So they, they they can't stop dwelling on it. They can't stop thinking about it. So those those sorts of things come to mind here when I do this reading, um, Pisces. But of course, this is not going to apply to all of you. And maybe certain bits and pieces are going to apply um, for some of you. And for others, maybe, maybe nothing applies here. But I think overall, the energy here is something about foolishness and healing and, and rectifying some sort of situation. And I think that's what this person wishes they could have said to you here. But a very strong spiritual or destined link to them is, is what I'm seeing. So, um, yeah, I think with the full, there's something about surrendering. They want to surrender or submit. Something about submission. The word submission could come up. I have to submit to your way or it's your way or the highway or anything like that here as well, Pisces. But I will leave your reading at that. And I do appreciate you joining me, of course. Um, please don't forget to like this video and also to subscribe to my channel to receive updates of when readings for your sign are posted. Otherwise, have a wonderful week ahead and I'm sure we'll chat soon. Thanks again.